Greetings, this is Darvain doing Let's Play Avernum and in the last episode we cleared out the bandit fortress to the north of Fort Dovno and in doing so we levelled up which is great it's exactly what we want to do okay so let's go through our notes, what we got, uh, done that one, don't know, Butel, eh, nah, 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 it's a lot empty, yeah, the bandits, we've done the bandits, the Nephil Fort, okay, so, we're going to do the Nephew Fort. Now we know where the Nephew Fort is because we found the Goblin Caves. So rather than going around the side and over again, we're just going to pop up. There you go. Found the Found the barbar the uh, bandit forts that we cleared out. And we just who are you? A group of Avernum troops operating out of Fort Dove now approaches you. When they see that you aren't bandits, they warn you to be careful. There are bandits and crazed and Nephilim in this area, the captain says. Then they depart. Okay, thank you for that. Okay, this is the goblin, well, the goblin cave. So let's go and have a look, shall we? Hmm, the goblin caves. Hmm. By the looks of it, there is some, we're going to need some light. Now, we have light at level 3. We also have various light sources. So let's use the light sources for it. So let's use a torch. Don't really want to go in just yet. I want to see roughly how much of the outside that we can see. Yep, that's just done. And of course, our torch is still going so that we can see. So, let's go in and see what we've got going on. Well, that's a good start. There's some goblins. This is very interesting. Now you know what evil dungeons are like before they actually become evil dungeons. This humanoid lair is still under construction. You would guess that the Nephilim will live here eventually and they have put goblins to work to do all that heavy lifting. You had both races on the surface and the smaller were often forced to work by the larger. From inside you can hear the sounds of tools striking stone in the harsh voices of the goblins. It is in your power to put a quick end to their labours. Okay, so... Voits! No visible targets, right? That now. We can target you. Okay, you want to charge forward? One, two, there. Fire. Okay.
So we are here. See what we find. Some stone daggers, some leather armor. Okay. Let's grab some arrows. Is that a leather helmet? Is yours a leather helmet? Yours is a leather helmet. So you get slightly better leather armor should you be attacked in combat. Okay. And this is, well, basically we get to pick a direction. So let's go this way. So what we got? Leather helmets, iron arrow, javelin. It's your last javelin, by the way. So yeah. Okay, you read the sign. There is a crew. This crew sign is written in a language you don't understand. It has a red X at the bottom. Okay, that's warning us of something down here. Let's go see what it is. I'm intrigued. Lizards. And there's nothing on the body. Okay. Pillow up here and some goblins. Let's look what we got. We got a nef hostile nepho archer and hostile nephew. Okay, so you want the archer, which is going to be dead. So, so look what we got. We got some poor fur. Okay, it's treasure. Take the torch. Wooden small shield. We don't need a small shield, do we? Iron. Iron. No. Is that a cave with bow? Take the arrows and the arrows and the rest. And the rest can stay here. Okay. So, I think we need to use another light. This time we're going to use a candle. There's rats here.
So we take some iron arrows, take some iron arrows, and we got some first. We'll take some more first. Rats produce first, and that's interesting to know. Okay. Now there's a ramp up there. So, what's over here? Okay, that is, there's a goblin up there. But we can't be. Not up there no more. We will have to find that bit though. Okay, so that's some decent loot. Okay, there's another ledge there. This cave is clearly used by the residents as a trash pit and probably a latrine as well. There is filth spread everywhere and the smell is almost overpowering. Okay, trash everywhere. Okay, the body of a Nephil has been disposed of here. You can't tell where it died, but you can see its pouch is still intact. Examine it more closely. The pouch contains gold, a reasonable amount of it. However, you now have a good guess at what killed the Nephil. A pair of snakes were hiding in the rocks at the edge of the cavern. Okay. Okay, so out of interest, how much money have we got now? Ooh, we've got quite a bit. So that was... Basically, there's a ledge. We can carry on up that way, if we wanted. Or you can see where what's in the east. So west of the cave. Ooh. Yeah, just check in, no miss already, off you go. Who are you? M. You're just a nephew, okay? <laughs> yep, 
No ammunition. Okay, so now we're on our 40 stone arrows. Okay, let's have a look. We got mm, a hammer. One to ten points of damage. Okay, it's pretty cool. Be an iron arrow, a stone arrow, more shield sandals, daggers, short sword, rocks. Okay, so you get to low, you get to throw some rocks for a while. I like rocks because basically, what you do is you charge in, and it's if you can't reach, then you throw something. That is basically the general strategy of combat. Okay, we have all these down here. Philip has a tank and is serving that remarkably well. Let's have a look at what we got. Cop coins, some stone arrows, stone arrows, stone arrows, lever, lever, healing potion. Yeah, we'll have you. Are we done? You've got iron arrows, so we're gonna pop you there. Okay. Uh, Let's try that again. Uh, Let's try that again. Uh, Who are you? Okay, an archer. Skin on the floor. Plus four. Okay, let's talk to you then. Talking to Hifnik, you see a man in tattered armor. He is clearly underfed and has been beaten as well. What are you doing here? I was part of a group that raided these caves. We thought they didn't know we were coming, but they must have seen us, because they nailed us when we entered the main cave. I don't know what happened to the others. How many were in your group? There were about 20 of us. A bunch of them died in the ambush, others hid in the tunnels. This place is riddled with hidden passages. Two of us were captured. Well. Consider yourself freed. Thank you. I will never forget your help. He flees from the cell, moving towards the exit as fast as he can. You've done your good deed for the day. Okay. So we gain some experience for for him, and our reputation goes up because we let him out. We're nice like that. And this must be the other guard who died. Basically, he was stripped of everything but his clothes. And it looks like we need light again. Now, we could carry on, but I think what we're going to do is well, we need to get out of here first, so let's. No, I'm not going to do. I am going to use. Do have enough for it? We will cast lights.
and we're going to come out here. And then what we're going to do is rest. <laughs> okay, there are monsters nearby. Okay. Let's kill these. Right. Uh, look at C. You're the archer by the look of it. Yes. Okay, there's a shielding. this one I don't think we can control click to look more than once okay who's this do we know hostile nephil hostile nephil hostile wounded nephil hostile so there's our shaman there okay no okay let's move forward then F. Hostile Nemo. Yeah. <laughs> Can't cast any spells. We've got nothing to do. Except go in and charge. You're not very defensive, but hey might as well we will stay there for now in fact let's have a look see what we got we could all of this we do in fact have a wonder bolt so let's use it we're going to use it to take out okay and we still have one action point so we can do that again Okay, let's have a look. Let's grab these. What have we got here? Uh, this is a, a non-identified ring. Okay. We'll take that. We'll identify that later. An ash bow. Well, we've got a cave wood bow, so we'll take an ash bow. We'll take an ash bow. Some stone arrows and loads of shields. Okay. can you carry these I might give them to you this should be you stone arrows yes you need the stone arrows don't do there's nothing else here that you need okay defend defend get let's just take what you can grab and end the turn Now, what we were doing, we were resting. <laughs> there we go. There's our rest. And we're going to head back into this cave. And we're going to do something you don't normally see us do. Because you see all that stuff that we got. We're going to keep the ring. We want to know about the ring. weighs nothing it just takes up space okay what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all the stuff we found cave wood bow ash bow And 
what we're doing is basically we've dumped it all in a big pile on the floor right by the entrance nothing particular brilliant in there that we needed uh, let's open up and use another candle you have more lights yes we do and we're gonna head this way Okay, that is there's some that's some stairs up wherever that going and there's some goblins down here. So we'll find it. No ammunition or crypts. Cause you finally lost. Ooh, let's have a look. What we got here? Nothing in there. See what we can grab. It's just stone arrows, tongs, pincers, bucket of water, spearhead, and an iron dagger. Okay. So it's like it was working at a sort of goblin blacksmith making tools for building this fort. Let's head up the stairs. Lever armor, stone arrows, You've got stone spear. Is that an iron small shield, steel small shield, and a bronze long sword? Wooden large shield, that's fine. Wooden large shield, iron small shield, so. Yep, that's fine. We have some spiritual herbs. We were going to take those. Let's have a look and see what's in here. Uh, which one of these is? Let's see. Can, uh, Nephil Shaman and some Nephils. Okay. So the Nephil Shaman is at the back.
Okay, so we've got some silver coins. Some arrows, boots, wooden small shields, iron small shields, cloaks, swords, and a stone the stone spear. Okay. What about in here? Let's check out scroll the spell the best books. We have Scroll of Create Illusions, that come in handy. And that is done. Let's look at the chest. It's a haste potion. We can have a haste potion. The door is locked. What have we got? We have an iron buckler. But we don't need that because, quite frankly, we're all right. We have B. What's in B? Look inside the box. There's a bronze key inside on a long loop of lizard skin. You pick up the key and pocket it. It will be used automatically when you reach the door it unlocks. Okay. The other one. Found a trap. Let's try and disarm it. We have found silver coins, ten iron arrows, a bar of iron, and a curing potion. Okay. So, back we go. Some sort of evil altar there. Don't know if there's anything down there, I'm not going to risk it because we've got these here. And let's have a look and see what we got. Hostile Goblin. Hostile Nephil. Hostile Nephil. Hostile. So they're basically hostile Nephils and Goblins, okay. Um. Come get some. <laughs> Okay. Let's let's slow them down, I think. Boom. And arrows, yes. Rock for you, that goes. We've got leather helmet, cloak, 
Evarma swords. Yeah, we just got lots of stuff out here, okay? And we've found where the top of that thing is. But there is something here. Is it there? No. Hmm. Like I said, this place is riddled with secret passages. There is some, there is some writing here, painstakingly scratched into the wall. It reads, ambushed in entry cave, Nephilim and Nephar 2. Split up, ran lots of secrets of tunnels. Some hid in them, hoped rescue in time. Considering that there is a dead human on the floor under the message, it seems likely that help didn't arrive in time. No. But we got some stuff. Not that we want any of it. So a stone dagger. Let's look at B. First aid kit. Well, that's going to Rizala. And C. Nothing in there. Okay. So we've got a first aid kit. Let's have a look and see what's in here. Okay, hostile Nefar warrior. Okay. No target visible. You have slain the leader of the Nephilim in these caves. While these irritating humanoids may one day try to return here, the loss of their leader will be a huge setback in their creation of a base here. The humans at Fort Dovno will be very pleased. Sure they will be. Okay, let's see what we can grab. Iron arrows. Weird meat, bronze longsword, take the weird meat, wooden small shield, okay. We have a healing potion, yay. Pick the lock. In here we have on the scrolls we have pen and ink not worth much what about here you have found a trap with that we find 80 gold coins papyrus sheets which is okay so you've got an ash bow you've got an ash bow you've got an ash bow you've got a cave wood bow because an ash bow is too heavy, okay. Ash bow, there we go. Okay, let's have a look, see what don't think there's anything. No, nope, the night down there. Something here. That's just spring by the looks of it. And here's the top of that ramp.
we got there? A pair of sandals that are not identified. Okay. There we go. So that is the that is the goblin caves for the new Nephir fort that was done. We're not going to bother. We're going to come here, grab what we can. Starting with Philip. How much is the pillow worth? Yeah, so. Too many items, okay. Done, okay, we're all done. So it's time for us, having looted pretty much everything, to go back. To Dovno! Let's go and sell everything. But we've got a few things to identify first. So, okay, let's look at you. No, I don't want to look at you. I'm being, I'm being silly. Want to buy something. Can you figure out what these items are? Okay, we want to know what this ring not identified and it's a Fletcher's ring whatever that does makes your this item makes your missile weapons more accurate okay that's pretty cool so that will go to Melissa when we can uh, let's have a look at these this sandals <coughs> They are cursed sandals. Prevents one to one and minus two. So basically, the cursed sandals mean that you cause damage. That you take you take extra damage when you hit because they're cursed. Okay. Great. Want to learn some alchemy? Now, if we know you've got look down, you've got the hasting potion. We want the energy potion. Mm. Up. and we've got well we've got skill points so we can level up so it might be worth going back to Davnor once we've done this uh, Silvar rather not Davnor Silvar in fact Let's sell our loots. Like I said, your the Fletcher's ring is going to you. Let's see. Let's see, healing potion, haste potion, stone dagger. Short sword. 
Is that an ash bow, a cave wood bow? And of course a pillow. And you can see all the stuff that we've sold to him here. So you've got stone arrows. They're worth 16. Meh, short sword. Is that cave wood bow and ash bow? Okay. Iron small shield, we'll take your meat. Don't need anywhere near that much food. So what I might do is, if I have to, other for things other than loot, I mean, I mean just general could bring it back and see what it feels and um, but to sell it then yeah or leather helmet we can't sell the cursed sandals sell the poor fur and the other poor furs and the bar of iron so we got 551 gold brilliant Let's go talk to Captain Johnson. Okay. Tell me more about the Nephilim problem. I killed the commander of that goblin fort. Can I get a reward? You tell Johnson of your adventure in the Goblin Caves, culminating in a hair-raising tale of your battle with the Nephilim commander. Johnson is pleased, though he doesn't act very impressed. Good enough, I suppose. I will get you a reward. Johnston has a, Johnson has a sack of 100 copper coins bought to you. These coins would be quite worthless on the surface. Here in Avernum, however, they are quite value. valuable. How goes the battle with the Nephilim? It's still difficult. But we're doing all right. Butchering those goblins helped push them back a little. Soon we'll be able to burn them out of their nests. Okay. Tell me more about the bandits. Okay. So we're done. Gives us all more experience. We've got more gold. It's time to go to Silvar and train, I think. Let's train. We have Philip. Got loads of gold. Gold don't weigh anything. Let's see what we got. We have strength. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Could put in another point of strength for you. See how that goes. And that gives us what? One point in tool use or potion making or arcane law. Um. Arcane Law, Arcane Law, yeah we'll give you Arcane Law, you can, a bit of a waste but if we do, there you go, room reading, oh, it's a point, and we got Item Law, so yeah that's pretty cool, might sound a little stupid but why not, we're just shy of, a, we're just shy of our second level, in most cases. Uh, dexterity, let's have a look and see what you've got. Uh, dexterity, and that leaves us with Arcane Law, Cave Law, or Barter. Let's give you Barter. Okay. 
Uh, how are we doing? What have we got for you? Priest spells take you up to level seven. Gives us one point to put in tool use, cave law, barter, or throw missiles. Uh, potion making, tool use, cave law, barter. There we go. And you, mage skills. That can take. That will take all your points. But it does mean that you've got level seven, which means ability-wise, you can go to. We can learn. Well, we're not got enough for lightning spray, and we've not got enough for sanctuary just yet. But we're getting there. We're getting there. And if we look at our useful skills, we have rune reading seven in my craft nine, so that's 16. 17 points in rune reading. Okay, well, do I want to give you arcane law? Well, out of all, the, out of all those, yeah, I think I do. At least it does something we're not going to use tool use and we're not going to use potion making so yeah why not now it's worth noting that the skill points you get from levels stack so if you're out and about and gain two levels before you train and you come back you'll have 16 skill point to training which is cool okay so Gary let's see what you got on tap you have a beer and a private room did I okay yeah I must have pressed something go on we'll have a second beer and then I'd have a private room. There we go. Conversation ends. Feeling extra pumped because we got lots and lots of money. Well, it's not lots and lots of money, but it's enough by our standards. Because if we look at our potions for Mycroft, we've got all the potions. We've got everything that we can buy so far. So that's worth noting. Meanwhile, we're going to save it here. So, let's save the game. This has been Darvain doing Let's Play, Let's Play Avernum. If you like what you see in here, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And until the next time, goodbye. <laughs>